All right. Hello, class. Welcome to the recording for Monday, May 4th. Um, so we're going to pick up today on the distance on the coordinate plane. So we're going to be looking for a distance between two plotted points. Okay? So remember the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and that only applies to right triangles. <clears throat> so down here, it says Evans walking on a bike was biking on a trail. A map of the trail is shown. His brother timed his ride from point A to point B. So right between here, that's the distance that he traveled, okay? Now pretend that this one, these are the red and blue ones, okay? So if those two are the red and blue ones, the red and blue, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, the red one, we're going to have that be the vertical one going up and down, the vertical distance or length. And then blue is going to be the horizontal. The horizontal distance, okay? What type of triangles form? So these two lines are perpendicular to each other. If they're perpendicular to each other, remember, it's going to make a certain kind of angle right here, all right? And hopefully you can remember that the angle that's made between two perpendicular lines is a 90 degree triangle triangle or right triangle okay so remember the Pythagorean theorem is a special triangle that only holds to right triangles so now how can we find the length of AC and BC without counting the number of units so we in the past this past year sometimes when we wanted to find a distance we could just count one two three four and that would work out Okay, because we've created a grid, and we can just count the number of units, so we know this is going to be 4. But looking at these values, looking at the coordinates, I have 3, 4, and over here I have 7, 4. Okay, which ones are the same? Okay, it looks like the y values are the same. So if we subtracted those, 4 minus 4, I get 0. All right, I cannot, this is not a zero distance. I know this not to be a zero distance. But if I look at the x's, I could subtract the x's from here to get, to get that. And this is the, the horizontal, so this is going to be for my blue. Okay, or the horizontal one. I'm going to go 7 minus 3, that's all. And I get 4. You can just subtract the two coordinates of the x value, okay? Very similarly, for the red, or the one that's going up and down, okay, notice I repeat my 7, so this doesn't move off that x line, right? It, x is 7 down here, and x is 7 up here. Whoops, let me get that on there. 7 is, x is 7 up here, okay? Now we could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get it, all right? But let's do some subtraction. Okay, we're not going to subtract the x's because the x's are the same. It doesn't move off the x-axis. But it, I am going to subtract my y's. All right, so I'm going to go 9.5 minus 4, and that's going to give me 5.5, just like that. Okay. So down here, I know my AC is going to be 4 units, and I know my BC is going to be 5.5 units. Okay. Now, if we wanted to find the distance, and we know that these two values, these two links right here are 4 and 5.5, what's the Pythagorean theorem that we could write? Try to write it down on your own. If you have to pause, go, go right ahead. Pause. Hmm. Alright, so for the Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to go 4 squared plus 5 squared, 5.5 squared, equals c squared. And then I would go through and I would solve it, and then I could figure out the distance... I could figure out the distance between here, okay? So let's do that, let's do that. I'm gonna go four squared plus 5.5 squared. Four squared plus 5.5 squared. And I get 46.25. But remember, I'm not done. I have to take the square root. So C is gonna equal whatever the square root of that is. And we can just leave it like that for right now, okay? And then that's race, yay. Cool. All right, turn the page. All right, so here's another example, okay? 
So we graph the ordered pairs. So we have 3, 0, and then we have 7, negative 5. And those are the two coordinates that they give us. Okay. Now what we can do is we can put in our own little triangle. And they do it for us over here. Okay. And if we put it in, now from here to here, we can just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know this has a distance of 5. And then here I can go 1, 2, 3, 4. So I know this has a distance of 4, like that. Now I can apply the Pythagorean theorem to get that length c, okay? And that's what they do over here. 4 squared plus 5 squared equals c squared. And then they go through and solve. And when they get to the square root, they get 6.4. Now remember from square roots, square roots can be positive or negative. So positive times a positive is a positive, and a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. So the points are about 6.4 positive units. We can't go distance. So this has to be a positive 6.4. Okay. So let's try this one down here. So first I'm going to graph 1, 3. So 1, that's uh, about right here, 1, 3. And then negative 2, 4. Negative 2, 4. So that'll be about right here. Okay, then I'm going to connect. Okay. Now, if I want to figure out the distance between those two, I got, I'd have to go down one, and then I'd have to go to the right a couple. So I go from f I go from four down to three. So I know that's a distance of one, and then I go from negative two all the way to one, negative two all the way to one. So what's the how many times do I go through here? Okay, so you can count. 1, 2, 3. So I know that this is 3. Okay. So if I wanted to, if I wanted to get my um, Pythagorean theorem to get that distance, it's going to be 1 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. 1 squared is 1. 3 squared is 9. So c equals the square root of 10. Like that. Okay. And we're going to keep it as a positive because we can't have a negative square root. Okay. Okay. So far we've been counting, okay, for diagonal lines. We've been finding the horizontal or I'm sorry, the vertical and the horizontal lines that make a perpendicular and then counting. Well, this is the formula where we don't have to necessarily do that. Instead of putting in these lines and counting, we can just use these two coordinates here given to us to figure out that distance. And this is the distance formula. The square root of the value of x minus the other value of x squared plus the value of y minus the other value of y squared. So you're just subtracting the x's from each other and the y's from each other, squaring them, and then taking the square root. Okay. Now, once again, if, if you're having a problem getting a scientific calculator, let me know. I can try to find one for you. Okay. All right, turn it over. And this is another formal definition. This is kind of where it came from. The distance formula does come from the Pythagorean theorem. That's why we have these squares in here, and we're taking the square root. Okay, and this is how, this is how, this is how the distance formula came about from the Pythagorean theorem. Okay. Now this can be applied to any line, all right? Whereas the Pythagorean theorem applies to any triangle, this can be applied to any line. That's why this is so important, okay? Cuz a line is one of the smallest things in, in a geometry. Okay. So right here, they go through the example, and they use this map over here. So they give you a couple points. So they give you two points. So using the Pythagorean theorem, Let's see, represent the distance between West Point and Annapolis. So those are what the two points are given. It says B equals 3.5. And then they go through, and they set 3 squared plus 3.5 squared equals C squared. And they get 4.6. Okay? Now this is when you're using the Pythagorean theorem when you're using a right triangle. But if you're just given two coordinates, you can just go through it a little bit faster even though this looks longer, this is actually faster than um, doing it the Pythagorean theorem way. Okay, so let's go down here to letter B. 
Now we don't have to graph, we're just going to set it up. Okay, so remember it goes x, y for our coordinates, x, y, okay. So it says Cromwell Field is located at 2.5, 3.5, and Dedu Field at 1.5 and 4.5 on a map. If each map unit is 0.1 miles, about how far apart are the fields? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to use that formula that's up top here. So please reference that, okay? And... First, I'm going to find my x's. I have a 2.5 and a 1.5, okay? So I'm going to subtract 2.5 minus 1.5. But at first, I have to put my square root. So I'm going to go to the square root of 2.5 minus 1.5 squared plus, plus, 3.5, parentheses, 3.5, 3.5 minus 4.5 squared, like that, okay? This is, now we're going to get our calculator out. So I know 2.5 minus 1.5 is just 1. So 1 squared is, don't forget to bring down the square root symbol. So I get 1 plus... 3.5 minus 4.5 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. So I get 1 plus 1. So this is just the square root of 2. Okay? Alright. So I'm going to go through one of these with you. Alright, I'll go through this one and this one. Graph each pair of ordered pairs. Find the distance between the points. Round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So on this one, first we're going to graph 4, 5. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Put a point. Okay, 4, 5. And then 2, 2. 2, 2. So it'll be about right here. So now to figure out that distance... I can, for this problem, I can just do the counting method if you'd like. So, right here, I know that this is 4, 5. Alright, so, if this is 4, 5, when I go up, if this is 5 and I start at 2, this has to be 3. Right? 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then down here, this is 1, 2. So the setup for this should be 3 squared plus 2 squared equals x squared. That's the setup for it, okay? 3, squ three squared is 9 plus 2 squared is 4. So I get 13 equals x squared and then just square root both. So then I know x is the square root of 13. Like that, okay? All right, try those next two on your own. Try this. You may have to draw it out. You can use a separate piece of paper. And then these last three, I'm going to do this one for you, and then use this as a model to complete these two. And this is the actual distance formula. So remember the distance formula, I'm going to rewrite it down here, is distance. Distance equals, whoops, the change in x. <laughs> x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared, like that. So now when I plug this in, I'm gonna, it doesn't matter which, which one you start from, just as long as you go in the same order for both. So if I go negative 5 minus a negative 4, I have to go negative 3 minus a negative 2, okay? And that's what I'm going to do. So negative 3, or I'm sorry, negative, no, that's right, negative 3 negative 3 plus minus a negative 2 squared plus oh that's the y value isn't it uh, alright do the x's next got them backwards but whatever like that this should go over there it doesn't matter I mean try to have the x's on the left I kinda of messed up put them on the whatever. All right, now when I go through this, remember that turns into a plus. So negative 3 plus 2 is just negative 1 squared 
plus negative 5 minus a negative 4 is the same as negative 5 plus 4. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1 squared. And negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is the square root of 2. All right. Now you don't have to necessarily um, do this problem since I did it here for you, but use this as a model for the next two. Okay. So for the rest of today, finish those two, finish these three down here. All right. And you will turn this in two weeks from now. Two weeks from now. Okay. And then also when you're done with that, try to complete this little math assessment retake thing. Okay. Try to complete this. And then you're going to hand this in in two weeks as well. And then on Wednesday, tomorrow when we meet, I'll go through, I'll go through this. So get this out. I'll go through the homework and I'll go through this. So get them both out. And then on Wednesday, we'll start the new stuff. Okay. So please tune in tomorrow for our Zoom meeting. I will be posting it on Google Classroom later tonight. And let me know, make sure to write down any questions you may have. Um, the distance stuff can be difficult. Please participate in this. Very, very difficult sometimes. Thank you, and have a good day.